A Facebook firestorm continues tonight after El Tiempo's executive chef and co-owner posed for a photo with Attorney General Jeff Sessions, hours after Sessions made an appearance here in Houston. More than a dozen protesters gathered to boycott the restaurant during the busy dinnertime rush. Our Jacob Rascone spoke with organizers as well as customers who are supporting the restaurant. He joins us live now on Houston's East End. Jacob? Dominique, people came from as far as San Antonio to come here and support the restaurant while protesters say this isn't the last protest. Be present. Look around you. Put the taco down. If it were up to the protesters, El Tiempo Cantina would shut down for good. You want people to boycott the restaurant? Definitely, we do. We want people to think twice before the restaurants that they are supporting. Boycotts, insults, even death threats followed this Facebook post. We had the honor to serve Mr. Jeff Sessions, the caption began. Executive chef Dominique Lorenzo later told us the picture was not political. The last thing I ever wanted to do was upset anybody. I mean, why can't you take a picture with whoever you want? Loyal El Tiempo customers say give the owners a break. And that within itself, as an immigrant, you know, that's not what this country is about, is people being demonized for what they think and what they believe. Hey, listen, everybody's got different opinions, and I think, you know, as Americans, we need to accept other people's opinions. But agreeing to disagree is no longer an option for some. We're beyond talking about this, you say? We are beyond talking about that now. There's no way that we're going to continue to sit down and try to be morally correct just so they can be comfortable. So the restaurant have shut down all of their social media accounts and tried to clarify initially online and separate themselves from Jeff Sessions. The protesters say that is not enough. Tonight, the general manager of the location tells me that their workers, many of them immigrants themselves, have to be escorted out to their cars by security because they're receiving death threats, people calling in and threatening them over the phone as well as online. General manager said it's gone way too far. And again, the protesters say they're only just starting. Reporting live on Houston's East End, Jacob Rascone, APRC, Channel 2 News.